Hey guys, me again. Uh, today we have a car amplifier for repair. That's in for repair. This is a. I'll tell you what it is. It's, it's I have the cover on the side here. It is a JL Audio one thousand dash slash one thousand watts subwoofer amplifier. Um, so. Basically, what it is is it's a class D mono amplifier, um, designed for subwoofers. Basically, so it has a lot of power to this thing. I'll tell you that right now. Um, thousand watts, which is you know for acoustic power, is uh, it's quite a bit, you know. So, um, but I'll give you guys basically the rundown of what's going on here. So, customer states that he tries to use it and after about 10 minutes it just cuts out like there's no sound whatsoever it's just gone so i was like hmm i wonder what that could be you know so i looked around and um not looked around when i was saying uh, i was just thinking what could it be you know just off the top of my head so i didn't know what exactly what the problem was so i told the customer i said look bring it to me i'll have a look at it for you you know and we can see we, we can see if we can establish a problem you know so that's why it's already taken apart i already had a look at it I didn't spend too too much time on it. Just took it apart. It was a bit of a process to take it apart because a lot of screws and parts. So it's a bit over all over my table here in the back. Um, but basically, what's going on is the amp. Uh, according to the customer, again, he runs it for about ten minutes, or it's intermittent. He runs it for a bit of time. All of a sudden, the sound cuts out. You know. Um, so I was, I told him, just bring it to me, I'll look at it for you. But basically what's going on here, I'm just going to show you. I was checking all the electrolyte caps, you know. I didn't think it was a problem because I had already visually inspected them and they seemed to be in good shape. So I was just looking around and seeing if I, uh, if I found any, you know, suspicious signs or whatever. Nothing. Everything is okay. All the parts are okay. Even the transistors that are in the back. I think there's a couple of MOSFETs for the power section. The rest are just BJ uh, and uh, BJTs for the uh, amplifier output. Um, nothing. I don't see anything wrong with it whatsoever. So I was like, hmm, you know, what could be the issue? So then I decided to basically put up a, a test rig. So here on the bottom, you're going to see I have, uh, this is a little on track the battery. It's similar to a car battery, except it's just a bit smaller, 12 volt battery. Uh, Although it seems that they're connected, they're not connected, they're isolated. Um, so I have two jumper leads to the 12 volts, which is here, ground, and then another 12 volts going here for the signal to turn the amplifier on. Um, and then this is just some status lights here. So basically the green light just showing that there's power to the unit, you know. So we have power. It's not drawing a lot of current. The inrush current is actually it's very high because I tried powering this off my... Uh, my uh, benchtop uh, power supply up here and the inrush current was so high that it basically turned off my uh, power supply out but you know so i uh, you know just again for testing purposes i have my leads over here that i made whatever and uh yeah inrush current on this thing is so high that i had to put it on a lawn tractor battery uh because otherwise this thing would have never turned on so now it's running and as you can see the uh, light is green so there's no problem there what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys where i found the issue uh because i know what the issue is so again i was testing it and looking at a few things i have over here also um my speaker hooked up right here so it's an 8 ohm speaker it's good just for testing and then i have my audio input that goes to my tablet and my tablet has some YouTube audio library music, non-copyright music. So, yeah, so basically, I might as well tell you guys now I'm stretching it for no reason. The issue with this amplifier is that we have a switch that is causing intermittent issues. This switch right over here. This switch is causing intermittent issues. And basically what's happening is the switch, when you move it in a certain position... Um, it cuts the sound off. So I'm going to play some music now. All the other switches are fine. It's just this guy right here, and I have it marked. So I pointed it here because I said this one is uh, questionable. So I'm going to start playing some music. So you may or may not hear it.
music's playing. And I mean, if I want, I can crank it up, but it's working. So I'm just going to lower it a bit. So the music is playing. But now, if I mess around with that switch that I showed right here, this guy. So watch what happens when I mess with it. Okay, so now it's working because now the switch I moved it a bit. But there was a position. Oh, wait a minute, sorry. Wrong switch. Um, that switch over here. Let me just double check what switch that one is. Uh, that's the reverse low high. Yeah, so this is the low low high switch. So this one has to has to be here. Yeah, so that's good. This is reverse or not input sensitive. This is this is the <coughs> input uh, whatever uh, output reverse or not. So that's for that. That's input sensitivity. This is input low high. And this is the switch in question. Ah, you see? So, I touched it, sound went dead, so, let me show you that again. Oh, wrong one again. Yeah, see? If I mess with this ever so slightly... You see? I'll put just one low. Oh, and I have an ad playing, so let's keep that off for a second. But basically... Basically, the issue is here. Issues with the switch. This guy right here. The switch is causing the output to go low, to be cut out completely. So I have to clean the switch because the uh, contacts are no bueno. So I'm gonna clean the contacts with some deoxid and I'm gonna maybe touch up some solder connections even though they don't look suspicious, just for some safekeeping. So, let me go ahead, fix that switch up, and then I'm gonna come back to you guys and show you if there's an improvement of what I did. Okay, so I thought I'd show you what happens now when we apply some deoxid and touch up the connections on the switch. So, there's some mess here I'm gonna clean with isopropyl alcohol, but all the contacts are touched up. I used my deoxid G5, gold G5. This is very expensive, this can, as you can see. $36.99 so I've used this on a various number of uh, switches and electronics and whatnot so it does come in handy so I got pretty much my money back from all the repairs I've done with it so I'm not too worried so there's that and then I also used my super duster which is basically canned air um, why this one in particular no reason really it's just I trust MG chemicals and they uh, they do a pretty good job so with their stuff you know so I paid this I think it was like 20 bucks or something but this like lasts a really long time so basically it has a long needle on the end and it's a duster thing that blows us blows out stuff that you don't want so I have that over there but uh, just to show you basically what's uh, what the difference is now with using the duster the super duster and the uh, contact cleaner so remember the problem was with this switch here speaker is still hooked up and you can probably hear the music so watch what happens when I manipulate the switch now it's this one yeah I'm moving the switch around and the music is playing no more cutouts now when I move the position the music is gone again there's three positions so but if I leave it this position before just touching it ever so slightly it would uh, music would cut out but as you can see I'm like really moving it aggressively and the music is still playing so our switch is switch is repaired so what I'm gonna do is before I close everything up um, I'm gonna do all of them for him uh, since he's been very nice to me but uh, again there we just have some uh, YouTube whatever audio music audio library music playing 
and uh, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, I'll give a final shot, I guess, of when everything is back together, but uh, yeah, we have it fixed. So I would say this one's repaired. Um, I'm gonna clean it up there and maybe remove the uh, markings I made. Not that it's gonna change anything, but um, just to clean everything up. So let me go ahead and do that. <coughs> and um, I'm gonna get back to you guys, okay? Okay, so we're back. Actually, it's the next day. Um, I put it all back together last night and uh, it's getting a bit late, so I decided to we'll record it the uh, next day, the uh, final clip. So after uh what i did basically after was uh <clears throat> after the last clip was i cleaned out all the controls gave them a nice uh wash down with some uh deoxidant some uh, spray uh canned or compressed air so the problem was with this switch this guy right here now you can see actually all the functions because the cover's back on it's this guy right here so again it's just filtering and other features that this app has that's what this guy controls so if i mess around with the switch now again I mean, you saw in the last clip but i'm doing it again here sound is still there and the music is playing so i believe this amp is fixed it will not die out anymore it won't cut out so i would say this is fixed <laughs> You know, so again, I'm just messing with it ever so slightly. And if I go switch, this work, these other functions are working as well. Actually, you probably can't hear it, but I can. There's sound coming out, and if you put it to the last position, we hear stuff input low, normal, input sensitivity. These other controls seem to be working as well. So it's back together and uh, it's ready to be given back to the customer so and once again i'm playing some non-copyright music or whatever so youtube library music so for this repair i would say it's uh, i'm confident to say that this is finished so if you guys like this video please leave a thumbs up leave a comment down in the bleep bloop section below and uh hit the bell if you don't want to miss another video when i upload it all right guys until next time take care bye bye